Now, one is often challenged by this figure of saying, how much gift aid? What's the effectiveness of gift aid? How much gift aid are we recovering? Well, that's how you get what I quote as 30%, roughly less than a third. And although it's not written here, CAF in their reports have divided the remaining 70% into two sections, 30 and 40. They reckon that there's a further 30% that could be gift aided if charities went and did a couple of things. Gift aided or processed their gift aid declarations and gift aided things that they're not currently gift aiding. Uh, ordinary donations. And the second one is the 40% that's left. They attribute mainly to um, street collections and I think it's charity shops, I'm not sure. And both of those can be gift aided. Certainly charity shops are being gift aided. Uh, Oxfam are doing it. Uh, Sue Ryder definitely are doing it. Bernardo's are doing it. And I actually submitted a paper, uh, uh, an article in uh, professional fundraising in 2005, which described exactly how to do it. And street money boxes. We're going to talk a lot about money boxes, and you're going to play with them a little later on. But street collection boxes, which are currently a big source of income, can definitely, absolutely, and uncategorically be gift aided. Not easily, but it can be done. So those are the sorts of numbers that we're looking at um, in, in, in terms of what can and can't be gift aided. Now, what is more tragic is that until 1st of April next year, the loss figure of 800 million that CAF are talking about can technically be black back claimed for six years. So if you take six times 800 million, that's roughly 4.8, call it 5 billion, is the theoretical amount that is sitting sloshing in Alistair Darling's coffers. Now, that's theoretical and it's never going to be there. But assume I'm out by a factor of 10, and it's not 5 billion, it's only, if my maths is right, 500 million that, you, that charities could claim. It's still 500 million that is better in your pockets than Alistair Darling's pockets. And what I suspect is that what could happen with the economic crisis and the pressures, there may be a feeling that says, Gift aid is not being used by charities. The undertone being, we can't really afford it, we're going to stop gift aid. Now, that's unlikely. It's only my personal opinion. But I wouldn't wait for that. You know, the tsunami might be coming. So, get it. You know, get it now. <laughs>